Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually super super excited because I am doing a do-it-yourself video. I'm sorry I lost my nail earlier before. I just love do-it-yourself videos like I watch them all the time and especially when I was younger and didn't have that much money I just loved to create my own eyeshadows, create my own highlighters, my own setting sprays and today I'm actually going to show you guys how you can make your own face and body shimmer spray and it's so easy, it takes no time at all. I think it took me like five minutes to create this one. A lot of companies have come out with different types of shimmer, glitter, body sprays this summer and I just feel like it's so, so, so easy to make this at home, guys. So don't waste your money on it. A lot of these companies have sent me uh, these type of shimmer sprays in PR. The bottle that I will be using is actually from Iconic London and I loved that shimmer spray. I was obsessed with it. So it wasn't that fun to pour it out into the sink, but I just feel like for the sake of this video, I was ready to do this. The shimmer spray that I will be creating today is just as good as the Iconic London one. So I'm sorry, Iconic London, but not only is the setting spray really, really shimmery and shiny and glittery, it will also nourish your skin because it is glycerin in it. So I will list all of the ingredients down below if you want to check something out so I will use a couple of highlighters in this video but you don't really need to use a lot you can just use any highlighter that you have at home and that will be fine but anyways I'm just going to stop talking now and let's get into the video it really really pains me to do this but I'm going to um, pour all of this out and just so that you guys actually can tell that I'm pouring this out and replacing it with the do-it-yourself one. So, let's do this. Sorry, buddy. This is painful. Okay, so all you need for this is one or a couple of highlighters. I prefer the loose powder ones, but I will also scrape off some from a highlighter pan later on. You will also need a empty spray bottle, glycerin, and water. You will also need some type of paper that you can fold so that it's like easier to pour in the powder later on. You can obviously also use some sort of spatula or, or whatever works for you really. I will be using a paper because I feel like that gives me a lot more control. So first up out of all of the highlighters that I will be using today is the highlighter from the Jennifer Lopez collection created with Inglot. I got this in PR the other week and I did try it out on my cheekbones but it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be and it did have some specks of glitter in it also so therefore I think that it will be perfect in the spray. The next highlighters I will be using are from Sarsar Cosmetics and these two are actually 24 karat gold highlighters which i just think is so bougie for this sort of thing because i mean who doesn't want to be able to say that you're wearing 24 karat gold all over your body during summer i mean it kind of reminds me about that feeling you know when you have bought some sexy underwear and you just know that you're looking good and it just gives you that confidence even though no one knows but you that you're wearing them i don't know it just feels, I, I don't know, it just feels so luxurious. I'll definitely link their website down below if you want to check them out. I also scraped off some of the Urban Decay Illuminated Highlighter with a knife to add some more glitter specks to the mix. I love to use this just as like a body shimmer, just as it is, so I definitely think it will look bomb in a setting spray. I then just mix it all up and place it in the middle of the paper where I folded it so that it's easy to pour down the bottle later on. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to put exactly three teaspoons of glycerin down into this bottle. And the glycerin is important because it will kind of work as a glue to the glitter. If I only use water, the glitter and the shimmer will very, very easily come off. The glycerin will keep the glitter and the shimmer on until you rinse it off with water. It's also super hydrating, so you're actually adding some moisture to your skin, which is great. Glycerin is, for example, also very often used in primers just because of its glue-like abilities, but also almost always in setting sprays. So that is why we are using it today. We are then going to pour in the water, but don't fill it all the way up because you won't be able to shake it as good once you've poured in the glitter and the shimmer. I'm just once again placing the powder in the paper fold so that it will be easier to pour it into the bottle and I am then very very gently tapping the paper with my fingers so that the powder slowly enters the bottle. And here I'm just mixing it gently before I am pouring in the rest of the water. And yeah, that is it really. This will have some color to it, kind of a rosé type of shade. So do not spray it all over you if you're in fact wearing white or lighter colors. I usually put on my clothes when it is all dry. This can also be used as a primer, guys, or a setting spray if you want to look extra glowy. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. So yeah, that was everything for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier in this video, I love to make do-it-yourself videos because like there was a time where I didn't have that much money and you know, I watched do-it-yourself videos and you can make so, so, so much stuff on your own. So I feel like save the money and make the spray by yourself because as soon as you run out you can just create one in five minutes or less and you have a new one so this one can also be used as primer spray i'm not sure if i told you guys that i probably did but yeah if you guys want to see more of this type of content i would love to create some more do-it-yourself videos because I, I really, really enjoy them myself and I actually love to make them, so yeah. If you guys like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you haven't turned on those post notifications yet, then please do. I'm not, I'm not even sure if they're working, but just do it, just do it. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great summer so far and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Now I'm on the outside.